So today, um, side note, we're doing two videos today. You guys aren't seeing two videos actually come out today, but one will be today, one will be tomorrow. Um, these were of course shot when you guys see them probably over a week ago. And it's when uh, we were down to our, our last few days before our move. So that's, that's what's happening right now. As you can tell, look at this room. It's so empty. So empty. I don't even have this light right now. It's just this light because everything else is packed up. So uh, kind of kind of exciting. This video and well, the next video. That's it for this this room. Oh yeah. So soak it in, my friends. Soak it in. Anyway, today we're looking at the Nakama Nakama one or two camera vest with side holster. So actually, my wife Mary got this for me. And uh, it's kind of exciting because a lot of times, and actually for tomorrow's video, this is going to be coming in handy, which is why I'm kind of reviewing it right now because the end of this video will actually be a component or because of the testing for tomorrow's product um, where we need to actually take out two camera bodies. So kind of cool. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, the only thing I'm not looking forward to is that when we go shooting tomorrow, with this, it's supposed to be like 35 or 37 degrees Celsius before humidity. So uh, we're gonna go out early tomorrow, but it's it could be a real scorcher. Anyways, today we're taking a look at what comes in the box. We're going to, of course, uh, look at their Amazon listing, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna try it out. All right, coming up. All right, guys. So um, it was funny when she was looking for this because she kind of said, "What, what did, what do you want in regards to something that holds?" Because I have camera holders, right? Ones that go on backpacks, one that, but I don't have anything that's really one-stop shop. Something that you can just kind of put on. And it's kind of a nice, complete vest, especially for heavy cameras. So this one here, and this is in Canadian dollars, of course, fifty-seven bucks. Perfect, not that expensive, um, especially compared to some of the big brand names. Some of the big brand names, you can spend a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, four and a half stars, 37 ratings, that was awesome. Uh, secure camera locking system, perfect for the photographer on the go. And what I like is it's one or two. So if you just wanna take one, you just use the, the single, and if you want to bring the second, then you add that attachment to it, which I kinda like. Uh, one size fits all, it's funny, one size fits all cameras so I'm a bigger fella so my hope is one size also fits the photographer plain I'm not gonna I'm not gonna miss that hear it I'm not gonna miss that um, some little photos there of course this guy's this guy's rocking it that's what I'm hoping for that's what, how I'm gonna look and well I'll put the listing down there you guys can take a look uh, here it is right secure two cameras double secure hooks yep good choice good choice better than if it said bad choice for shooting sports nature or weddings so all right oh, i like that it comes in a little bag that's handy this room has never been as clean as it is today actually so that's kind of kind of exciting all right here we go open this up somehow but I like that it comes with a little mesh bag because you could actually like throw this actually in your camera bag because it actually folds up like that's it folds up fairly small a lot of camera bags have that extra section up top where you can put just whatever. You could fit that in there. It's not as if you're going to be driving around wearing it. You're going to take this off until you actually go shooting. All right, a little bit of a mess. Okay, so here we go. So here's here's component here's component two, right? So this is it's it looks like it straps on like with a, you can put it on your belt. There's a, a little Velcro area. We'll figure it, we'll figure it out as we go. Now there doesn't look like there's any kind of manual or anything. They just kind of be like, here you go, enjoy, and and that's it. So I have a couple questions. I do because question number one is how how does this actually mount to your camera? Because you need something that slides in there. Yes? No? I have no idea. Right? Front side, remove the holster. I get what you're telling me, but there's there's nothing else in there. Is there is there something? Is there a piece? Because a lot of Velcro. 
right? That's your that's your your sizing strap, I would guess. Anything in here? Not even sure. Okay. That's that. So the question is, you have a camera. You have a camera. Where's the piece? Where's the piece that kind of goes in here? You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, this this is this. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out if I'm if I'm actually missing something. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I'll be back. So I'm back. I got all excited with the vest. There's more in the bag. There's more in the bag. Because I was like, I'm looking online. I'm like, there's got to be more. There's just, there's got to be more down here. So of course I'm scrolling up and down here and I'm like looking through the side and they've got this little, there's some weird discs. I'm like, I don't see discs. I do see discs. There's two of them right there. So we're good. It all makes sense right now. So basically, uh, let me grab a camera. Hold on. So basically you take your camera. Let's just take that off. And you get one of these slidey fellas. It's going to go on your tripod mount. Um, and I'm not a hundred percent. It's like, it's, it's like a little keychain that comes to get like two of them. It also seems to have, well, it has that, which is weird. I'm not sure, but it does have a little, like a little screwdriver -y deal too. So I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure. Cause that looks like a keychain, but I don't know. Anyways, I guess we'll find out as we go that you would just kind of get it in there, figure out where you want to put it. So I'm going to put mine there. I think just use this little guy and snug it up. Now you do want to put this on tight because this is, this is what's, What's holding your holding your camera? So if this were to loosen, that would be that would be sad. Now I don't know if there's necessarily an up and a down, but all right. Boom! That's that's in there. That's not going anywhere. And then really, all this does is this just kind of boom slides in there, and you're you're off to the races. And then this one here. Same idea, you got that little slider if you want. And I'm guessing this would, let's see if it has a little image. No, like I said, no manual, right? So I'm guessing this, you would just go through the belt loop and then you'd have that there as well. So depending, depending on where you put that, maybe if this belt was big enough, you could almost even slide it over a little bit so it kind of catches on both. You know what I'm saying? All right, uh, we're going out shooting tomorrow morning, so we're gonna wear this. Yeah, we're gonna wear it and see what we think. Okay, stay tuned, coming up. All right, I'm back real fast because I just figured something out. So, see on the bottom here, there's like a little notch, right? It slides this way. So be aware that you kind of want this to go across the the width of your camera not like following the lens because what happens is and i'll show you on this 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 goes in like if you try to go in this way it goes but it doesn't go all the way it stops okay so what happens is when there's this little channel here you put your camera in sideways and it goes all the way to the bottom and then when it spins because that's how gravity is going to hold it it doesn't go back up so it kind of locks itself in place. So when you want to shoot, you turn your camera and it comes out, right? In, locked, slide, out. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. A little bit of a safety precaution, right? All right, now I'm going out. We're, all, we're going out tomorrow. So come with us. All right, guys. So before I actually head out, and again, look at the room. It's empty now. So, so empty. It's really weird. Um, I wanted to show you two things that I, I learned while trying to put this vest together. Number one, you can see, right? there. There's that little clamp on there, working great. Number two, remember I saw that like keychain ring kind of thing? That goes on your camera. So I, I put it here just because I didn't want it rattling too much. So if it was here, I could hold on to it more. Um, 
Usually you would mount it to where your camera strap would go or something like that, depending on your, your kind of attachment. And, and that's, that's so that the security straps that are on the vest can attach to this just in case you have this hang in there and this, for whatever reason, gives, gives way or you miss it and you let go and you have a strap now that's attached to this that will catch it. So find yourself a good spot. Usually they recommend probably attaching it right to where the strap would go. Because I have a cage, it was next to impossible to get that in there. So I put it on here. Next best thing should work good. All right, next I'll actually show you how that little, the second camera holster thing attaches. Because, you know, once you have the vest on, which I've done, it makes more sense. All right, hold up. Okay, so here's, here's that little holster thing, right? And you guys can see here, uh, on the back, I was thinking this would go around like the belt of the vest. I don't think so. I don't think so. So what happens is this peels off and then this, this comes, my keyboard's hitting my screen. This comes up. loud, right? And then what happens is this, you put your belt in there. This comes down over it, gets a nice lock. And then this comes up to make it so that this can't even come. It's it's like a belt for the belt, so it's double secured. That's not going anywhere. Like that's not going anywhere. All right, got my got my camera ready, got my vest ready, got my holster ready. Everything's re everything's ready. So let's go. Let's go out. Let's go out. Do some shooting. All right, guys. So we are uh, we have the vest on, right? You guys can see it. There's the vest. Got my other camera hooked into it. And we're gonna go meet up with my friend Dave. And uh, should be should be a fun, actually a fun way to carry two cameras. It's it's actually really nice because um, you don't even really pay attention to the second camera. It's just kind of sitting there, which is fantastic. So uh, I think this is gonna be great. You can see I have that cable here hooked in to the other camera. And uh, that's not that's not going anywhere. All right, let's go let's go film some stuff. Let's go do some shooting. So, so far, it's weird when you're trying to vlog because the little band is just like, gets, it detaches so you can't get your arm out all the way. But I guess I could just, if I'm trustworthy, just hold on. Nope, it's not happening. There we go. That's better. That's better. It's this little, this little guy right here. But you feel super safe. I've been using both cameras back and forth and uh, it's been really good. My buddy Dave, who I'm out shooting with, he's over there somewhere, um, finding some shade, because it is hot, hot out today. So, more, more shooting. It's like, I don't even know, I think it's supposed to be like 35 right now, but it's cooking. All right guys, more shooting, and we'll go home and, and talk about it. guys uh, so we're back uh, one one camera of course is off it's it's here um, second camera right there 
it's it's uh, it's fantastic. Uh, it's been we've been out here now in the sun. I say we because I was out with a friend of mine. Uh, out in the sun for uh, just shy of two hours. And again, 35-ish degrees, and I'm probably burnt a little bit. It is what it is. Uh, but good airflow, surprisingly. And normally, if I'm wearing a backpack or uh, just carrying the cameras, it is such a workout. This is so nice, and I never ever felt once that my cameras were not secure. And the fact that I have to turn to get it out and then place lock yeah total win um, that's that's gonna be the end of this review because there's nothing really to tell you at home it's it's great I I'm a I'm a huge fan and because I'm a bigger fella you know it should fit I think I even have like extra room yeah extra room all right guys that's it for today's video I'll put links down below if you guys are interested in this little vest harness holster thing because yeah it's a uh, it's it's totally a win and uh that's it like comment share subscribe and we will see you fine folks i can't see you now there we go see you fine folks tomorrow later